Hello Crafters, it's Adrian. Just wanted to come by and share with you what I made for the most recent swap that I'm in. It's a one-on-one -on -one swap. It's the Happy Meal Swap that is hosted by C, who is C's creation here on YouTube. She hosted the swap over on Coffee Cake and Crafting Group Facebook group, which is hosted by, uh, which is the founded by Tiffany McGill, who is Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill here on YouTube. So I wanted to come by and share with you exactly what I made for her um, so I can ship it out to her tomorrow. So with further ado, I just wanted to share with you that we had to do a, um, a Happy Meal box. So we had to alter one or use a tutorial. I chose to alter a an existing box that I received from my daughter who works for McDonald's. She gave me a box and I kind of just made it sized it down just a little bit on the sides so the sides were not as deep as the original box but I went ahead and um, sized it down and fussy cut it out and created it you know to meet the needs for my swap so I kind of girlied it up used some digital papers um, personalized it for my swap partner and this is the top this is the bottom and the back here and again the bottom so this is my happy meal box okay now I'll show you what I did for the hamburger which is the embellishment book we're supposed to wrap it up which I have not wrapped it up yet but this is the book that I made for her and I didn't want to add the the embellishments to this book I did them separate and I'll share with you exactly what I made but these are some of the things that I that did that I made to represent some of the embellishments that's supposed to go inside of here so what I did was I just made it plain and simple for her so just in case she wants to use this as an album she can or if she wants to add her embellishments herself she can do that as well just kind of made it a little plain with the digital papers that I used and this is my attempt of trying to add the embellishments in here and I just it didn't work out well so I think I'm gonna add a bow or something right here to cover up my boo boo so I do apologize Anna that I did um, attempt to put my embellishments in here and just thought it was not a good idea so that you could use this as a a mini album if, if you desire so I left it plain and I did this one actually opens up this magnetized this page here and that's the back so again it's plain I just put my little sticker on the back if you can see that so that's my hamburger and here are the embellishments that I made to go inside I made a couple of rosettes for her so that she can have to decorate um, whatever she chooses. I made some little shaker, um, little hand mirrors. They're all shakers and very small in size. I cut them out of my Cricut, just a file that I found and created, you know, some shakers with it. And here are some bows that I made for her. Excuse the glare. I just put it on some acetate and put some little dots on the back so that she can remove them easily and put them on any project she may have. And I also made another one of these little small purse charms, which is the mini TN. And these are the embellishments that I made to go in the embellishment book or to embellish um, for her to use as an embellishment for additional projects if she, if she wanted to use those. And I used the same thing throughout, so um, I wanted to share with you what I made as my fry box. This file I got off of Google, and I just printed it out and fussy cut it. Didn't want to go through the, the hassle of putting it through the Cricut and all that stuff, so I just fussy cut it and added a bow here in the front just made it a little simple added some tissue paper some white tissue paper to uh, kind of house the 
my popsicle sticks that are representing french fries and I just added some lace trim so this is going to represent what I represented as french fries so I did five little spools and I used popsicle sticks because that's what I had in my stash and there's plenty on there because I never know how much lace to give somebody because you never know what kind of project they're wanting to do so last but not least I want to share with you my representation of a drink I made these cards they're blank on the inside the inserts are blank they're actually uh, I made these from the May May made it uh, video she did a video and also gave us a free file um, you know to print out and cut these out so I hand cut these and when you pull out these white piece of paper here it's just plain so that you know she could write on it and the coffee cup sleeve actually um, serves as an envelope and I thought those are really cute to add as a um, to use as the drink to represent the drink for my happy meal so with that being said let me just give you a recap here of everything that represents the happy meal Sorry, here's the hamburger. And here is my Happy Meal. So there you go. Thank you so much for stopping by and seeing what I made for Anna. For the Happy Meal swap that's hosted over on the Facebook Coffee Cake and Crafting, hosted by C, who is C's creation here on YouTube. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a crafty week. Bye.